Hey guys, Naisha here, you know, just an average girl. And hey, I want to thank you guys for tuning into my channel and seeing what I have to offer. I really enjoy reading and responding to your comments when I have the time. And for those new to this channel, you'll see that I like a lot of variety. From reviewing shows of yesterday and today, traveling to my favorite theme park events, checking out any new devices that come my way and fascinate me, and of course, a craft corner for the artistic nerd in me. Today, I just received another box from Agora Models where I'm building a three foot Optimus Prime that is both light and sound. Box four and five aren't gonna be repeats as we'll be working on the right arm and hand of our favorite Autobot leader, therefore completing his upper body. If you are interested in purchasing this thing, I'll leave a link in the description below. But remember, right now this is a monthly, bi-monthly project, so if you want to wait until the actual thing is complete, you're gonna have to wait until later on next year. All right, without further ado, let's work on the right shoulder. All right, so, um, as always, we always come with three uh, compartments. So again, we are working on the right shoulder where it's pretty much exactly verbatim as the um, other box was for the left shoulder. The only difference, however, is that there is not going to be any kind of Autobot symbol, um, whereas uh, the right, uh, the left shoulder, whereas the left shoulder has the Autobot symbol. But other than that, everything is pretty much the same. So let's start with the first packet. And once again, don't forget, make sure that you don't block this. So when you put the pipe in, you wanna make sure that that little space in there is available for that one piece that you have to put in. And that's this piece right here. So that way when it fits in, see, so, of course, I have to glue it to secure it, but like I said, just make sure you look out for that little hole there. And just like the left arm, you want to make sure that when you position this thing, this thing is flushed to where the flat side are at your top and bottom.
All right, so this is pretty much what packet one is consistent of. So on to the next packet. So pretty much at this stage, you should be transitioning over to the last packet, packet number three. Okay, I have a little warning. The instructions for this part is backwards. What they did is technically the same as the left because this is supposed to be on this end. But what happened was how this is set up, they did it in reverse. So now this piece is supposed to be facing this way and that piece is supposed to be facing this way. Because this whole time I'm trying to figure out why this thing wasn't fitting, I actually had to watch um, a video and, and stuff to figure out why this was not fitting properly, only to find out that there was a mistake in the instructions. So again, if you find that you put this piece on the other side and you put this piece over here, you're not crazy, they pretty much somehow made some kind of mistake and it's end up reversed or maybe they did it on purpose who knows i don't know anyway let's go ahead and finish this guy all right guys this is the right shoulder slash arm 
All that's left is the forearm and the hand. And let me tell you guys, this is getting hefty. I mean, we have both the right and the left arm. And we have the chest and the head. This is looking gorgeous, people, I'm telling you. I don't mind having to wait every two months to get my pieces together, because in the end, this is going to be glorious. So, um, but no, like I said, we're, we're almost there. So we got the upper, we're getting the upper body complete. All that's left is gonna be the torso, the hips, the legs, the feet. It can actually stand on its own, but there is also a base that comes with it, which makes it completely three feet. So again, I look forward to when this is complete because this is going to be such a beautiful piece when put together. And, you know, I am so glad that I invested in this project because, you know, this is a nice, you know, relaxing project and, you know, fun little hobby. And hey, if you haven't seen this from the beginning, why don't you click on the playlist over here so you could see how it all started. If not, check out the other videos that I have on this channel.